All right, as you can see, the weather is awesome. First thing in this video, but uh, anyway, a lot of guys have been asking about the shop, the new shop. Uh, give you guys a little mini shop update here, first thing in this video. Uh, but before we do that, uh, because some things have unfolded with the shop, I wanna share with you guys. You guys know, I wanna bring you guys through that entire process. But before, I'm looking, the, the 05 does not have its stack cover on. We'll have to fix that. But anyway, before we get to uh, the mini shop update and all this stuff in the rest of the video, I uh, just want to let you guys know, gathering my thoughts here if you can't tell, uh, wrenchworks.com, you guys know uh, we don't do sales all that often. We are doing a sale this Saturday and Sunday, 10% off the entire website. Like I said, we don't do sales very often. If you guys want to help support the channel other than just watching the videos, being awesome, commenting, hitting the like button, uh, now is the perfect time to save some money and grab some wrenchworks gear. So now, today and Sunday, after that, I don't even know when the next sale will be, if we'll do one anytime in the near future, but anyway, Now's the time, 10% off. Anyway, let's jump into the shop. Obviously, really the main topic is the garage doors. You guys have been seeing uh, in the background we have garage doors. The garage doors have taken super long time to put up, not uh, any fault of the builder, but the guys who are supplying the garage doors to whoever that is to the builder uh, have dropped the ball multiple times now. So first, they ordered the completely wrong doors after waiting an extended wait time because of all of the Rona BS going on. Uh, obviously, everything takes forever to get now. It doesn't matter what it is, uh, but they got the wrong doors. So we got the right doors in. They go to put the right doors in. Not only is all of the hardware kind of hodgepodge mixed up, not really correct that the builder had to spend extra time doing uh, and figuring out. Not only that, What's missing uh, that matches our other building, and I would love to kind of walk back and forth, but the weather is going to ruin the camera. But anyway, we have windows in the other uh, garage doors, which I basically wanted to mimic buildings. I want to have uh, this building match the other building. And, uh, you know, the windows and the doors lets in a lot of light. I even thought about going, uh, so one, two, three, three is the window, one, two, three, we could put another row of windows up top there. Not sure if that would look weird or not. These are obviously really tall garage doors. Um, so they look a little funny right now to me, in my opinion. This is kind of an industrial looking building. I know they make industrial, more industrial style doors. These are really kind of like a, a little bit more of a premium home style door. But again, I wanted them to match uh, from building to building. So uh, I do love the garage doors. They do look really, really good, but they're just not quite there yet. I'll walk inside so you guys can kind of see um, inside here, the track system. It's obviously pretty dark seeing that we have absolutely no lights in here or electricity yet. We're working on that. But as you can see, the tracks go up all the way to the top of the ceiling and where they put the springs you guys can see they already started wrapping uh anything that they could not get to after the fact all right we'll open up that door so we have just a little bit more light in here so obviously the whole goal is to finish off the inside of the building just like the other one so what i was saying is you can kind of see where all of the rails are mounted they've already kind of wrapped in white so they don't have to take down the entire garage doors to uh, get everything to be white and finished off very, very nicely, which uh, turned out really, really nice. So you can see the header board all the way down here, all wrapped, that white steel, super, super nice. And they've got the springs in, so this doors obviously do, you can't see anything there. The doors do open up all the way manually, and then obviously we've got the openers right over there. Uh, so as soon as they come back and swap this panel, uh, for the correct glass panel, we will have fully done doors. So uh, they're kind of waiting again to finish the doors completely uh, until we get our glass panels back in. So the doors have been uh, a little bit of a, you know, back and forth, a little bit of a pain, but you know what? You'll have that, what are you gonna do? There's not much you can do uh, when that stuff kind of happens. So the garage doors are up mostly, uh, but that's pretty much where the garage update ends. Uh, we have concrete scheduled. Um, everyone's really backed up around here, and that should be in about uh, three-ish weeks. We've got concrete, obviously you can tell they stop the doors right where uh, we're gonna have six inches of concrete. Um, so yeah, the concrete will be coming 
power will be coming. Uh, obviously, we took a little break there. We're really at the point where we need the concrete, and a couple weeks or months ago, it was getting down below freezing uh, during night, and I did not want to pour concrete with the chance of having any issues of the temperature dropping really, really low. So anyway, guys, that is your mini shop update into the shop for the rest of the video and to get some work done. What is going on today guys? Welcome back. We are back in the shop again, always working on the race truck. We've been really pounding at it for uh, a couple days here and we have got some good progress and hopefully by the end of today we have got uh, some massive progress done on the interior paneling and the dash. So here's kind of where we're at as of this second. We spent uh, quite a bit of time yesterday bead rolling all the panels. We got our uh, Hobo Freight bead roller over there which actually works uh, fairly phenomenal. So right up here we've kind of got our new and improved dash with our clearance for the clearance uh, of the engine in the back. That way we can actually work on this thing. Uh, what's cool about it is uh, we'll be able to take this panel off and still get our push rods out, have plenty of room inside there. We kind of described that a little bit on the last video, but you can kind of see it taking shape now. We also put in these little panels right down here. That way if any uh, explosions or oil happens to try to enter where you're sitting, we're, that's, that's, we're doing safety and we're doing oil containment because you know when you uh when you push things to the limit things tend to things tend to happen but we have been spending all the time making panels and getting our firewall complete and uh right here we have got all of these panels actually made so you'll see some good good progress today moving across here and that's what uh, you know this is just the tedious job uh, of interior work and we've also got we've also got this guy sitting over here, look at this cute little fat chubby drive shaft that we got in. So we've got our drive shaft made, uh, at least the rear one, not the, uh, not the front one, but we do have the rear one. So we'll be able to put that in here. But yeah, just a lot of time consuming, monotonous, interior work but guess what you got to do it we got to do it and uh we're getting it done we are tackling it slowly but surely and you know we'll, we'll, we're gonna be racing by this weekend we're, we're gonna be testing by this weekend that's you know just not really but i wish but anyway on with the progress for today that's about it what else did i forget anything stuff order for the 05 guys stay tuned uh this is probably going to be the last uh, I'm not saying last, but like we're taking just a brief pause from the Pro Street truck because we're pulling in the 05 for version two, the start of version 2.0. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys stay tuned because the 05 is going to the next level in the next couple videos. But anyway, that's all we got. The heat's kicking on because it's been getting cold. It's been snowing. The weather's been doing 
just crazy, crazy things. And the weather doesn't look that great for this weekend. But anyway, on with today's progress. Well, somebody forgot to turn on the camera during that last, that last bead roll of the most beautiful, important panel there is. Hence the one that goes on top of the dash that everyone will see. But, uh, yeah, I think it came out good. Michael was laughing the whole time, so I'm trying to figure out where it's messed up. But uh, I, think, I think it's good. I think it's good. You know, it's, it's hard. I got the, hey, you might think you have an important job, but, you know, keeping consistent speed, it's, it's, not, a, it's not an easy thing. We, we, we haven't figured out how to adopt a small little motor over there for, for that. By the time we do that, we'd be done. So we're just trying to, you know, just trying to, just trying to get that good, good quality on the, on the cheap, you know, just, just proving to you guys that you don't need high dollar tools to have high dollar results. I feel like that should be the title of a book, right? Dude, nice, nice safety hat. Is that, is that OSHA approved? Nice, a lot of sun going on in here. It's getting ready for, getting ready for Florida. You getting ready for a Daytona truck meet, dude? Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We've already got the next panel queued up. We've just been we've been rocking and rolling. Michael, you want to tell them how easy uh, easy spots these are to weld and get to? <laughs> Michael's had to contort his bodies in ways that uh, circus performers don't even have to do. But uh, we got all this stuff welded up. Uh, well, temporarily welded up. This one underneath here was just uh, was terrible, to be completely honest, to weld. But we're getting it done. We're making it look good. It is coming out super, super awesome. So I told you we were going to tell you exactly how we're basically doing. And in case you guys want to know how to bead roll interior panels. Mm. Take it away there, just Padre. Take, uh, <laughs> just take a distance from the outer edge. Our distance is inch and three quarter. So we'll mark this inch and three quarter. And then like along. Basically making a border all the way around it. Yeah, you can probably fast forward through this part. Sure, insert fast forward now. Okay, and then. This, this is the real cheat code right here. Oh yeah. This, for this one, is two and a quarter. I don't think it really matters, but... Well, you want to make some nice round edges? You just uh, take the end of a hole saw and... Look at that. You got yourself a nice round edge. Wow. And then as long as the person turning your Hobo Freight bead roller is consistent, you got a nice perfect line to follow. Just, you know, what a, what a hack. I mean, like a life hack. I didn't. I, I don't mean that. Like I did. <laughs> that came out wrong. Mm -hmm. What a nice sun hat. Now I'm leaving it in. <laughs> no cuts here. Just, just pure, just pure raw, raw, raw entertainment. It is seven o'clock, and uh, it has been it has been a day. But boys, 
We have got the dash and the firewall complete. Uh, Michael has already taken off. Uh, you know, hunger was calling, and uh, we are wrapped up for the day. I'm, I'm honestly trying to find the energy and the uh, words to say, uh, but man, I'm, I'm just gonna stop, uh, stop putting it on my face and just show you guys. It looks so good. I'm so pumped, I'm so happy. We've got it all knocked out. It's not completely finish welded, but all of the panels are tacked in there in place. Um, what we're gonna end up doing to kind of finish everything out is kind of stitch weld everything, get it permanent, and then uh, when the time comes to really tear this thing completely down and paint everything, we're gonna seam seal it all, make it sure, make sure that it is uh, completely airtight. Any of the little gaps that are in here will be filled up. So there's still some little, obviously little finishing, but all of these panels just, man, they take, they take time if you want it done really really nicely which obviously that is the goal and man we killed it we knocked it out of the park i'm super super pleased with the way everything kind of came out everything is bead rolled everything is fitted um and yeah we finally have finally have a dash finally have a firewall finally have all of that done i believe that the floor and the back will not take as long uh, just because they're more flat pieces it's not anything crazy bends curves going around pipes uh anything like that man oh man does it feel super good super good really really happy with the last couple days progress on this thing uh as you guys know uh the drag truck it, it, it's it's a it's a slow and steady painful yet exciting process and we have been dreading doing this job and uh, man feels really good feels really good we have plenty plenty of feet room over there for pedals and all of that stuff which is obviously super important all of those brakes all of those bends came out really well again obviously we've got a little work to do in that corner uh, but we'll to get that taken care of and yeah, the back glass basically the back glass that was already made kind of comes down to here So we got to finish out from there down and then our trans tunnel get that protected and we have got our drive shaft in which fits Really really good. It's real short real short and fat, but she's in there got that it's not completely tight But you guys get the uh, general idea that way we can make our drive shaft uh, kind of Containment loops and stuff like that in there Anyway guys, that is pretty much all that I have for you guys on this video on the drag truck, getting it updated, just kind of going through the process of getting it done um, and trying to, trying to stay on it, trying to get to racing. That's what everybody wants to see, that's what I want to be doing, uh, but obviously we're, we're here and we're getting it done, trying to stay as positive as possible because sometimes, you know, you tackle big projects and, you know, sometimes they, you feel like they're kicking you in the butt and they're never going to get done, but the only way to overcome that is to continue and continue to work on it and just keep knocking things out. So, uh, every, every time we stay on it for two or three days, we get that much further and it feels really, really good. So I'm feeling super good. If you're in the process of doing something like this, just stay on it, just keep getting it done. Um, you'll get there and uh, we'll get there. Make sure you guys hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. I actually have a Peterbilt video coming for you tomorrow. And then we will be hopping on the 05 for stage two because it's time, the time has come. The time has come and that's gonna do it. Hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya, bye. Just, I'm just exhausted, man. Just exhausted.